Beef, it is what's for breakfast today, but not just any kind of beef. We're talking Creekstone Farms Black Angus Beef. I'm here with Bob Lane, chef and owner of Chester's Chop House in Wichita, Kansas, and founder of KansasBlackAngus.com, and Jim Rogers, marketing vice president for Creekstone Farms. These guys are here today to help us beef up our summertime cookouts with some delicious Black Angus beef recipes. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Jim, first of all, what makes good beef? It's the consistency you get in quality of genetics, humane animal handling, the best food safety practices, and our natural never ever program. Never ever. That means no hormones, no antibiotics, ever ever? Ever ever. If an animal in our program gets sick and, need, and needs to be treated with antibiotics, that animal is simply removed from our program. So you guys are the real deal. Yes, You're the stuff that moms want, completely natural, vegetarian fed, no hormones, no antibiotics, and I bet that's reflected in the taste. Yes, it is. Okay, Chef Bob, you've done some barbecuing for us today. What did you do? Absolutely. We put together, a, a, a first was a, a, the cut of meat here is a tenderloin, and we've uh, grilled it and sliced it in medallions so you can cook it quickly. Okay. So that way you're going up against your uh, grilled shrimp also. If we're going to finish the meats, we finish them with a little bit of a dry rub and maybe some olive oil at the is end. Is it true that you're not supposed to salt them before? You don't, I, I, do, I don't salt before either, for the same reason. It draws, out, food, it draws right? out fluid. It draws out fluid, so it dehydrates. I wish I'd known that. Now with the shrimp, we can put some little lemon zest and some olive oil and herbs on that and let it sit for a little bit. Um, but so that's like more of a surf and turf kind of a thing, and it's quick and easy to put together because when you make the tenderloin cuts into small medallions like that, it cooks in like three or Real four minutes. Real fast. How'd you cook the potatoes? The potatoes, we blanch them first. Those are Yukon Golds, and then we put them on the grill. And so slice them, nice them, blanch them for a couple blanch minutes. Blanch them in a little, I, in a little uh, hot water hot and then water right cold? onto the grill. Yep. Right, right onto the grill. Okay, and what sauce are you serving with this? We're doing a chimichurri sauce, which is kind of like an herb pesto, mm. uh, which kind of sp spikes up the shrimp and, and ties it all together. And it's nice and light. And and you it's know, made if, with olive oil. If you're too lazy to pull out your whole food processor, with a million pieces, you can just whip it up in a blender. Absolutely. So quick. Absolutely. Okay, what do we got oh, here? Blender pesto. <laughs> uh, here's a uh, New York strip steak, which has been uh, seared on the grill um, to a nice, nice mid rare there, actually. And uh, sliced on a, a radical bias, and then it's over a spring salad, which is uh, shaved uh, carrots and uh, cucumbers and is uh, uh, asparagus, white and green, and some grilled tomatoes. Now, you do your steaks more perfect than I've ever seen. Perfectly seared on the outside, a little brown coming in, and then that pink center. Is the trick to, like, hit them on the fire and and then kind of roast them in the... In it's, the it's direct and indirect heating. That's exactly what you want to do. Uh, you want to get a high heat to sear the meat in, to lock in all the juices, and then you want to move it over to a more moderate heat. And that's the time frame where you let it uh, so coast a little bit. close up the barbecue? You can close up the close barbecue, it, absolutely, kind of and put it onto a more moderate heat and let that, let that just lock in the juices. Okay. Resting is important also. If you let it rest three to five minutes before you cut it, it, it doesn't let the juice run Take out Take it of off it. the heat, let it sit for five minutes. Should I cover it with foil? You or can just, just sit it on a plate and let it just sit. It'll tighten back up, and then it'll relax a little bit. And when you cut it, all, all the juice stays in. Good news. And we have a, a creamy horseradish uh, Dijon sauce with that, which uh, is great with the vegetables. It gives yeah. a real nice hearty flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. And if you notice, we did all springs type stuff here. We're heading into the summer now, months. Now, this is a serious steak. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. That's a cowboy T-bone. <laughs> oh, yeah, for your cowboy at home. <laughs> cowboy ribeye steak. It's uh, 22 to 24 ounces. Whoa grilled up. It's a beautiful piece of meat. Um, and then we serve that with a, a kind of a corn relish salad. It's uh, grilled tomatoes and avocado, red mm -hmm. onion, corn. Um, we toss that with a little olive oil, extra virgin, and some uh, balsamic vinegar. And you make your own steak sauce? We make our own steak sauce. So, and it's wonderful. And all of these uh, steak sauce recipes and are available on, uh, online. Where can we find Creekstone Farms beef? Well, our beef is sold in, in restaurants and retail grocers around the country. And you can go to www.creekstonefarms.com for a list of those locations. And you can also order it directly online? And you can get it online as well at our website. Fabulous. Creekstonefarms.com and your website also? Kansas Black Angus. Kansas Black Angus. They can get the beef Dot and com. they can get all these amazing they can get recipes. Great recipes. You can get recipes on either of those sites or you can also get them on thebalancingact.com because Chef Bob very kindly has donated his recipes to us. Also, stay tuned to this show in the coming weeks and months because Chef Bob is going to give us summer barbecue tips all summer long. I'm so excited to hear Me about too. this. Okay, coming up, have you ever thought of owning your own beauty salon? Up next, a fantastic opportunity, so stay tuned.